Between 10 and 15,000 people in our state had their criminal records sealed in 2021, and that doesn't count the number that had those convictions removed. Good Wednesday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. But what can offenders do if they want a clean record? Sam Matheny joins us live in the studio with these answers in tonight's top story. That's right, Tyler and Amber. We've heard from a few people who tell us their criminal record is keeping them from buying a car or even getting a job. But for those convicted of petty offenses, minor traffic offenses, and even smaller misdemeanors, there could still be an option to go through the expungement or sealing process. Expungement and sealing. Both can help someone clear their records if a judge agrees. Expunging completely removes an offense from your criminal record, as if you never committed a crime. Those who are charged but not convicted of a crime are eligible for expungement, which on average takes four to six months. Those with some marijuana convictions are also eligible under the law that legalized recreational marijuana. Sealing is a similar concept, but different. It's strictly for people who were convicted of crimes. Sealing only hides the convictions from general public view, but state expungement program coordinator Ashley Richardson says there's a catch many don't know. For sealing, it is three years from the completion of the most recent criminal offense before you can seal anything that would qualify on your background. Richardson says some convictions are not eligible for sealing, like DUI, reckless driving, sex offenses, and other violent crimes. She adds domestic violence and child abuse convictions are not eligible at all. And Richardson says a sealed conviction should not prevent someone from getting a job unless they have to be fingerprinted un or undergo an FBI background check. More information can be found on the State Appellate Defender's Office's website. We'll also have a link to that on our website later this evening on 25newsnow.com.